look at my birthday cake, you guys. <laughs> it's officially my birthday today, and this cake is stunning. I don't know if you can really get the full effect on camera, but it is going to be a marble cake inside with cheesecake, no, cream cheese frosting, excuse me. And then she kind of like marbled it on the outside and did the dripping of the white chocolate here. And then look at all the beautiful detail on the top. I will leave her info down below if you're in Arizona because actually I'll even show you her card in a second here. There's like macarons uh, all over as well. There, there, there. And these are all hand done by her, the, the roses. So pretty. I can't wait to put my cake topper on it later and take some pictures. All right, guys, I'm literally in my PJ top still. I changed my pants, but I have no makeup on. I did straighten my hair, but I'm gonna probably curl it later today. Um, oh my God, excuse me. <laughs> but I just got my free Starbucks. I got a venti, which I never get a venti, but for your birthday, you kind of have to, because it's free. <laughs> and I got the ice venti coconut uh, mocha macchi macchiato, and this is so, so, so good. Birthday coffee. And then I also got the new egg and steak wrap from Starbucks and it's really good. It has like tomatillo in it. I think that's how you say that. It's good. Figured I need some protein today because I'm going to be drinking since I'm 30 now. <laughs> so hot you guys today but I wanted to share my birthday makeup with you. I just put it on snap. I hope that it's showing up really well. I have these earrings from Happiness Boutique. I'm gonna probably curl my hair later. Right now I'm gonna film for you guys. I'm just gonna leave it straight. And I have this outfit on from Charlotte Russe. This is like a little um, bralette and then this top. It's kind of really freaking hot right now <laughs> for these long sleeves, but I wanna film in it. I wanna wear it. I think it's super pretty and fun for my birthday today. And I wanna take pictures in it and stuff. So <laughs> I just wanted to say a quick hi, show you my birthday makeup. I actually had a good makeup day today, and that rarely happens on my birthday, so I'm kind of pumped about it. Look at how cute Mama Bee is. She got all these balloons for me for today. And then she set up the table with all like 30 happy birthday stuff. Some champagne, too, we're going to have later. I love these for some too. Reason. And we just took a bunch of pictures with those three and zero balloons and with my cake. So I'm gonna post those probably to Instagram. I might post them here too, but had to show you how cute the table looks. She's so adorable. And look at Harley. Where's my baby? There he is, he's so fluffy and cute. Hi baby, he's such a good boy. Yeah? Oh, I love you. He's like, mom, stop. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Melissa. Happy birthday to you. 
many more. Yeah. Well, it's just Throw my belt, girl! Yeah. 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 Happy birthday, Woo. Happy birthday. Love you. Unbelievable. You want to take some pictures? Look, something that the new technology can do. Is it, the glasses oh, <laughs> yeah, be careful oh, the bottom of the bottle. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, I like to fall. One more for you. Be careful, the, yeah. the bottle falls off. Oh, you're just learning, what do you need to do? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Next time I'll get Perfect. some Gorilla Glue. Some Gorilla Glue. Happy birthday, everyone. Happy birthday. Woo! 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 Behind the scenes of behind the scenes. Oh, fail that. Are you kidding me? Brian recorded it. So I got I'm gonna... it. Wow. I'm still recording. Oh, Lord. Okay, Brian, I got you. Oh, Brian, I got you. Oh, Brian, I got you. Oh, Brian, I got
So I'm gonna do an unboxing with you. I have a bunch of boxes next to me and I did this unboxing on my Insta story already. So if you watched that already, a lot of this will be kind of repetitive, but I still wanted to share it here on my channel because so many of you tell me like, I don't have Snapchat, I don't have Instagram, I don't see your unboxings and I really like them, so I'm willing to share them still. And this vlog is going up on time on Sunday. However, I probably will have a secondary vlog this week. Um, if I have a lot of footage from California, because I'm going to be going to California Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, leaving Monday. Um, I think I might be doing something Monday morning still, though, as well, where I would be vlogging. So, I feel like there still will be a lot of footage, enough for me to do a second vlog this week. So, if you guys like that idea, please thumbs up this video, this vlog. And so last night, before I get into the unboxing, I just want to say last night I had an incredible time. My brother and I went to the Matchbox 20 and Counting Crows concert. Oh, it was at Auction Pavilion, so if you're from Arizona, you know that that's like the one that's outdoors where I go to the country concerts that you guys have been watching um, from the Mega Ticket. And he got great seats. It was for my birthday as my birthday gift from him. He got some great seats and they were phenomenal. The guy from Counting Crows, can I just say that he's a performer. He is so emotionally raw with how he sings and performs his music. It's almost as if you're at a poetry reading. I'm not kidding. That sounds dramatic, but I'm serious. And Rob Thomas and Matchbox 20 in general are like ride or die band. I absolutely love them. I've seen them once before, but in the lawn at that same concert um, hall or not hall, what do you call that, venue. Um, so I never got to see them that close up and you guys, Rob Thomas gets hotter with age. Just have to say that. And they were incredible. So thank you so much to my brother. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. First is from Octoly, which is a site for review purposes. They send you product. And this is also from Real Techniques. And it's their new collection of brushes. This is one of them. And it's actually a light blue shade. I'm not, I'm not sure if you can see that. It's like a gradient from blue to black, the actual handle. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, it's all like sticky. I need to clean it off. But I hope you can see that it's like a cobalt blue to black. And the actual bristles are a very dark, yeah, a really, really dark blue. And I love the size of this brush. I think this is going to be perfect for setting my under eye or for using as um, highlight powder. So it has a bit of a point to it. So many things. It's so soft. I want to try like every brush from this collection now. This, these are so beautiful. So thank you so much to both companies for allowing me to review this product. I will be using it very, very soon, but I already can tell you that I love the quality of the bristles, but I love all Real Techniques brushes. That's really not a surprise. Next is something I actually purchased. This is my Sephora haul. So you recently, um, if you're a VIB, I don't know if it was VIB Rouge only, I'm pretty sure, but it was, there was a coupon for $20 off, $100 purchase. Um, and I actually had two more 500 point perk things in this box, but I put them in my giveaway. So if you saw it on Insta Story, then you saw it already, but I had that tucked away for the giveaway already. So you'll see that in an upcoming video, but I also renewed my... VIB Rouge status, which means that you spend a thousand dollars in a calendar year on makeup and skincare and fragrance. Just that's yeah, and hair care, I guess, because everything is sold at Sephora. But 
This is what you get when you renew your VIB Rouge. This is the, I think this is the number 55 brush, but in mini form, which if you've been with me on my channel for a while, you know that's one of my favorites. Actually, you know what? I don't think it is. It's the 56.5. So it's different than what I was thinking. The Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush. So it's like a nice one for to put in your purse though. I love the shiny red handle. It's a cute one to put in your purse for like powder. And I actually will keep it in this little sleeve so that powder doesn't get everywhere. So yeah, pretty cool. Next I got the Natasha Denona Glow All Over Glow Face and Body in the shade Light. Um, my good friend Trisha, a glittery life here on YouTube. Um, she has recommended this forever. It's one of her holy grail products and I was just like, you know what? I just figured, you know, after the excess amount of highlights I purchased, I couldn't believe I still didn't have this one. So I figured now was the time. Beautiful mirrored packaging. Here's what it looks like. It's a beautiful champagne glow. And hopefully, yeah, you can definitely see that. Look at that. I'm definitely bringing this with me this weekend for wedding makeup. Like, I'm going to wear that for the wedding. I'm not in the wedding, but as a guest. And then um, this I have to blame Alex from HRH Collection. She recently did a video on her favorite new, like, summer lips, and one of them was this. And when I saw this packaging, I was like, you know what? That's it. I'm getting it. It's from Get... Givenchy, I say Givenchy like that. Really matte lip color. And it's in the shade 322 Coral. Coral Gypsophilia. I don't know if that's the whole name or not. Look at this, you guys. It's a mint leather packaging. It's so beautiful. And it's silver. It's just luxury. It's just complete luxury. And I really, really love the formula of their lipsticks. I'm just going to pat some on. Oh, it smells good too. It smells kind of slightly fruity. Oh, it's so pretty. And that's not like full intensity. Because I have like barely any makeup on. It's a little more intense. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Let me do an intense swatch for you. It's beautiful. Definitely a great summer lip. I knew Alex wouldn't let me down though. <laughs> such a pretty, such a pretty color. Okay, then I got NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla because I've been out for a very long time and it's my holy grail. What is going on with that piece of hair? I don't even care. I'm just gonna let it fly. Um, I've been out of this concealer for a really long time but I've been using other ones because I really was trying to gravitate all my other concealers out of my collection before repurchasing this. <sighs> but I went long enough. Like it has been at least eight months since I've had this. So it had to be back in my life for the wedding. I needed it. I just needed it. So it's back in my life. Okay, and then the last thing from Sephora is my birthday gift. This is the Tarte little set. It comes with a blush, a little mini blush and lip product. Looks like, it says exclusive new shades. Hmm, cool. So yeah, I'm going to try those out. I love Tarte blushes and their lippies. And then Amazing Cosmetics sent me a concealer and one of their primers. Their mattifying, no, anti-aging face primer. And I'm in the concealer is the shade Light. Actually, let's open this now because I'm going to put all this away after this video. Oh my gosh, it's already eight minutes in. i got to hurry up. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Next we have Pixi, and Pixi, Pixi Beauty is amazing. I love their products. They're so generous all the time. So it says Summer Makeup Essentials. Got a few different products, and a few of these will be in a giveaway because I have some of them already. They're duplicates, including the Makeup Fixing Mist, and the multi bomb Cheek and Lip Stain in Baby Petal. I have this already, and it's very pretty. This, however, I am going to test out and try for you guys. Quick Fix Powder Translucent Setting Powder. Have not tried that by them yet. And then if I didn't have a lip product, I would try this right away right now. But this is the Nourishing Lip Polish with Apricot and Grapefruit Oils. Um, I've heard great things about it. This is what it looks like, and I believe it has like a plastic tip. 
yeah, like a little scrubby plastic tip. So I'm gonna be bringing this with me on vacation and testing it out and I'll let you guys know what I think soon. So thank you so much. Next is Ofra Cosmetics. And they have new a new matte palette of all these beautiful, beautiful shades. Wait till you see this, you guys. First of all, the palettes in general are so heavy and beautiful quality. I haven't had an Ofra like palette. I have used their shadows for a very long time, um, but just never in a beautiful palette like this. Um, so this is the must-have mattes, and there's 20 colors, two grams each, and this is what the palette looks like. Right? I did a few swatches. I'll insert them. Um, so far, I, I am really enjoying them. Blend really nicely. They are creamy. Um, not too much kick up, which I'm shocked about. These two up top here, like the purpley kind of blue shades, not the best when it comes to um, blending for me, but the warmer shades and all the shades, pretty, pretty much all the shades after this row for me. I have not used this matte black yet, but I've heard it's really good. Um, I'm just, everyone always like, I need a matte black in my palette. Like really, does everyone use black that often? I sure don't. I don't know, I only use it if I'm doing like an intense smoky eye in the outer corner, which is very rare for me. They also sent over my voice, I'm sorry, my voice is horrible from the concert last night. Um, Dazzling Diamonds palette, and this has all like shimmer and glowy shadows. And they're so, so pretty. I also swatched a few. So when I insert that little clip of when I was swatching them early, but there's like a beautiful rose gold. There's like this gorgeous taupey few shades right here. A golden, beautiful shade. Oh, I cannot wait. This actually probably excites me even more, this palette, because I like my shimmery shades. I like always have to have a shade like this for my lid. So I'll be using those a lot, I'm sure, coming up. Next we have Royal and Lang Nickel. They sent me their Moda new line. Now, not all of the brushes, but quite a few of them. They have this new beautiful metallic line. Look at this. There are a bunch of silver brushes, rose gold, gold. Oh my God. So pretty. It's called Moda Metallics Beautifully Bold. Here's like kind of like a little rough look of everything and they have these great sets which would be great for Christmas shopping I know no one wants to think about that yet but probably smart too because we're inching there we're inching there guys and I can't wait can't wait I'm the person that likes to rush to Christmas yes but I I am excited for Halloween also I don't want to skip over that okay so I have two of their like silver ones contour and a buffer I have two of their rose gold ones, the stippler and the pointed foundation. They're so beautiful. It's like I don't even want to use them because of how beautiful they are. Now this set I believe I'm going to end up giving to you guys in the giveaway um, because I feel it's selfish for me to keep this eyeshadow brush set when I have so many eyeshadow brushes and I think it's so pretty. It has the gold details and then it has this really cool zip case that's Kind of studded. It reminds me of the Kat Von D lipsticks, and I just think that's such a cool set. And then this set right here is the Face Perfecting Kit, and it's the like different kind of shaped brush that everyone's going up being obsessed over right now. So yay! I'm so excited for you guys to try them and for me to try them. All right. Last but not least, I have a box from Elemis. and these are so beautiful, you guys. First of all, they sent me these really cute tags with the same pattern. And then this is in collaboration um, with Misha no Nonu, I believe that's how you say her name, and Elemis. And they have, these are launching, well they launched in July, so they're already available on Elemis.com. And there's a luxury travel essential set for $104, which I'm gonna show you right now. And then with the purchase of $110, you get this beauty bag with purchase, which I will show you in a second. These bags are luxury, you guys. Amazing quality. They remind me a lot of like the Kate Spade one I have. It's just that material that wipes off really easily, but it's so thick and beautiful. I love the pattern. Don't you love that pattern, the red zipper? So nice. Oh my gosh, and the stuff inside smells like lavender. Smells so, so good. 
take them all out so you guys can see. So inside here we have the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I have not tried these yet, but I will probably, I think I might take them on my vacation. Body oil. Ooh, this, look how beautiful that packaging is. Shower cream. I love shower cream because I, this is the kind I'm thinking it is. It's really good for shaving your legs too. Then we have the papaya enzyme peel. Makeup remover, white flower eye and lip makeup remover. Balancing lavender toner, which I think is what makes this whole bag smell incredible. And then a Pro Radiance Cream Cleanser for the skin, for the face. So, and then you have this huge bag, travel makeup, not makeup bag, like, well, anything bag, really. I'm definitely bringing this bag with me on vacation this week. And then there is this one right here that is the gift with purchase, and it's like the little baby mini. So it could be your little makeup bag for your purse. And in here... Wow, you get a lot. Okay, so in here you get the Gentle Foaming Facial Wash, the Pro Collagen Marine Cream, which is like a smaller size of the big one I just showed you, the Botanic Skin Energizing Cleanser, the another one of the shower creams, and then the Papaya Enzyme Peel again. Woo, so exciting. So if you would like to check any of these things out, out yeah I feel like I can't talk today if you want to check any of this out I will try and make sure to start linking things below for you when I do unboxings here on the vlog almost unpacking so tired you guys <laughs> and that's the dress I'm wearing to the wedding as you can see I'm bringing some wet brushes to give to friends and I'm gonna call it a night I will see you guys later in the week like I said, I'll have a separate vlog up, and that's it for now. I'm going to get my booty to bed.